Hey folks, well today I just want to make a real quick video uh, regarding my signature series knife. I know I did a video already announcing the release of it, but today I came home from work and I actually got mine in the mail. Here is my signature edition Genesis. And there's the close up of the mouse. There's LT's mark. Mine has white liners. I described this all in my other video. It's just a standard Genesis, but it's got my stamp on it. It's got white liners. I wanted to fatten the handle up just a little bit. I would imagine these uh, liners are approximately 16th of an inch each, uh, you know, one on each side. So that makes it about an eighth of an inch larger than my original Genesis. And I'll actually show you the difference here. It may be hard to see on camera, but um, I can tell that it's it's definitely bigger and that's the benefit of adding the liners it, it takes up space adds a little color but takes up space gives you a little fatter handle so you can see the difference one's really shiny and one's been used quite a bit now I don't do a lot of reviews I do some but one thing you'll notice on my channel is I don't do any negative reviews I don't really find that to be productive really um, if you ask me personally what I think of a particular product and if I've used it I'll give you an honest answer but as far as uh, just reviewing a product just to kind of tear it down I'm not really into that um, so most of my or all my reviews are kind of over the top this is a great product whatever because I review products that I really like um, I've reviewed the Genesis knife before in other videos and and I've said this many times but for me this is the perfect bushcraft knife um, I've been able to do a lot of things once you've been using knives you can use even inferior knives to obtain a goal or an end product that um, you know you could have done maybe a little easier or whatever with a little little better knife but I mean if you understand knives you can make even a, a, a poor quality somewhat poor quality knife perform to a better level than say someone who hasn't really used a knife that much. There is no anything like that regarding this knife. This is not, this isn't something that, that I have to overcome a design feature or anything to make it do what I want it to do. I didn't design my own knife because I've used this knife and I'm happy with this design. I'm not a great designer anyway, but I, I did a little bit of tweaking to it just by adding the liners, you know, just real minor. For me, this blade profile, the thickness of the blade, the grind of the blade, and the blade steel just combine to make it a tool that I'll be surprised if I ever find something that's uh, a better bushcrafting type knife. I'm open to it, but so far in my journey, I have not found one. The Scandi grind bites into wood real good. It's not as fragile as uh, a lot of folks say the Scandi grinds are fragile, and they are a little bit more fragile than, than other grinds. But I've beat them, beat this through oak logs. I've done everything that borderline abusive to this knife that I would ever want to even think about doing out in the field. I test my knives harder than what I use them out in the field. I'm not going to take this thing and use it like a crowbar. I'm not going to you know, use it like a hammer, anything like that. But it should stand up to the normal tasks that we do out in the field. Harvesting chaga maybe. And you know maybe that doesn't seem like a big deal. But if you've ever gone out when it was 10 below and chaga's all froze up and you drive your knife into the, into the chaga and you start kind of prying on it to work it loose, you just got to work at it and, and be careful. But I mean this thing has uh, held up wonderfully to those types of tasks. Um, the feather stiffi sticking, like I said, the scanty grind, it just bites through wood. So I've uh, filleted fish with it, I've processed mice with it, I've done a lot of different things. I, like I said, I personally think it's the basically the perfect bushcraft knife. Um, you can tell the blade, the tip, is real conducive to gouging or digging out, like say for a spoon or a bowl. Is it the perfect knife for that? No, it's not. A, a hook knife or a uh, spoon carving knife would be perfect for that. But I can still do the process with this knife. So anyway, I just wanted to show you. I just got back, for, or I just got home from work. 
Got my new Genesis in the mail, and of course the black sheath. I'll be wet forming this, and I'll be putting some birch oil on it. The birch oil works so good for me. I mean, it uh, just protects the leather fantastically. Um, a little bit of a shout out here. If you've never uh, watched Joe Mobley's videos, Feral Woodcraft on YouTube, I'll try to put a link in the description of the video. He, um, I'm pretty sure he has a video on, on wet forming a sheath, and he uses a vacuum sealer. Also, Jonathan Burton, the bearded Burton, um, does a wet forming in his oven and that's actually the video that I watched uh, to wet form mine in the oven. You just got to be careful if you cook the if you put the oven up too high you can cook the leather and you can ruin it because I've done a couple sheets like that too but anyway I just wanted to say thanks folks um, this wouldn't have been possible without LT and his crew and of course all you folks supporting me and it's been a it's been a pretty awesome journey I remember making YouTube videos when the views were me watching it so basically nobody had seen the video it was just me watching it I remember doing a video or videos with uh, just a regular picture camera to switch it over to, uh, to video and start recording I couldn't edit anything it was all one take that's originally why my videos ended up being so long but anyway uh, it's just been a it's been a great journey and I hope that there's more things on the horizon uh, there definitely will be more things on the horizon regarding knives so I'll just kind of put that out there but anyway just wanted to say thank you and there's not much more I can say thank you very much and Merry Christmas take care